is our modern style dining room table. It comes in 12 different sizes. What you're seeing here has a four foot by four foot interior. And the way that we have set this up is what we have done is we are showing you leaf guards and leaf desks, and I'll show you how that works. So, like I said before, if you're playing a large game, you take everything off the table and you're using that full insert. However, if you want to switch to playing a small game and you want to kind of shrink your space in, so what we're showing you here is how those leaf desks and leaf guards work. So this would be one of the hardwood leaves that we've left on the table. And this piece actually hooks onto it. This is called a leaf guard. And it hooks onto the tongue of the leaf. And then this piece would be called, so you have, uh, apologies, you would have a desk down either side. And then this piece would be the leaf desk that actually comes out on the end so that you can actually have that entire circle of desks around. The other thing we're showing you here is a custom fabric inset. So if you want to have a fabric inset that fits the entire table, you can. And then you just have to uh, fit your leaf guards and leaf desks to the fabric. Or you can have a smaller one made that fits in between them. And then that fabric inset removes. It actually has a craft board surface on one side, so if you're going to do some sort of art project or something on the table, this is your destroy me piece, this is your I'm going to paint miniatures, I'm going to use a glue gun or a rotary knife, and then the other side, of course, is the fabric side. All right, welcome to the Spartan. The Spartan is our standing war gamers table. That is what it was designed to be. You can use it, of course, for other games, but that is what it's... Uh, best option is. It comes as small as 4x4 four four, and it comes as large as 4x8 standard, which also means that you can have the custom made. We've made one, for example, that was 4x12. Uh, the Spartan can be 2 and a quarter, 3 and a quarter, or 4 and a quarter inches deep on the game vault surface, which is uh, deeper than some of our other tables go. And then underneath, it also has a lot of storage space. So if we come down, this is showing you a shoji style door. It slides open, it has a shelf, and then if you'd like, it also has a drawer, which is an option. It can have this setback so you can come up to it and have a footrest, or if you're storing a lot, you can actually have the doors built right at the very edge uh, to maximize your storage space. Spartan also comes in several different door styles, so if you come up close, you can see that you can come in uh, standard panels. Uh, this is a shoji style. This would be an Art Deco add-on. And then over here we have a French Provincial add-on. And a new one we have that is a green and green add-on. So depending on your sense of style, depends on which uh, door package you would like for your Spartan. And of course it has the rail system built around the entire table. So you can hook on desks and cup holders. Very easily. All right, uh, welcome to the Vizier. The Vizier is our most luxurious uh, dining room table. It takes some of its cues from the Sultan. Uh, the Vizier is an excellent table for uh, role playing gamers and tabletop board gamers and card gamers. It's an excellent kind of crossover table, but it also comes with a full set of hardwood leaves that cover up the top and it's thin enough that you can also use it as a dining room table. I'm going to show you some of the features of the Vizier. Uh, the fun part about the Vizier is it doesn't push you out as far as the rail desks do because when you flip open the stations, it only pushes you back another six inches and this false panel here actually comes out. There's a drawer. You can actually use this false panel as well for additional desk space so you can have two different levels of desk space. Or you can use the rail system for other things like cup holders, or we also have the ability to do attached cup holders or of course attached wine glass holders. In the center station you can either have a flip down or you can have a dice rolling bin. So you can actually have a bin that either use for storage or dice rolling from the two players on the side. The end stations are a double flip down. The Vizier comes in on several different heights and about eight different sizes. So on most tables we ask, you know, how many, what's your group size, how many players are you going to play with? On the Sultan we take a different tack. We say, how many people do you want to play with? 
because based on how many stations you have is how many players you will have no matter what size your group is currently. This, this day We're the Sultan Reddit right now. Uh, I'm showing you the uh, GM station. So the GM station can be on either end. It has a rail system right here and a very large storage door. It's actually three inches deep. And the rail system, you can hook on cup holders there. We actually have a dice roller built into it here. This is an option, so you don't actually have to have a dice roller. Some storage in the top. Let the dice roll down. And that way none of your players actually see what that roller really is. You also have what we call our quick reference library right now. Clearly it's a very mixed thing going on. So that basically your most popular uh, piece of uh, guides that you're constantly referencing you can pull out very quickly. And then, so that's the GM station. Around the side I can show you the player stations. This is a standard player station. The desk folds down. The top bins are completely removable. This bin is also completely removable, but it also pushes back another four inches, allowing a player to actually open a manual fully on their own station. So lots of storage inside of the Sultan. The middle station right here we have, as it, once again, a dice rolling or storage bin. And then this middle drawer actually comes out to reveal actually a secret storage area where you can actually roll up maps and put them underneath. And then two undermount rail style cup holders. And then we have another player station right here which is identical to the one we just showed. You can have the option of actually having a little rail built in right here in the corner if you need extra cup holders or extra uh, hook on rail accessories. And then on the end here we're showing you, uh, we call this a Highlander version. Uh, this is a double player station. So you can fold down both desks. And each one, once again, has that full three inch drawer and the rail system built in here for cup holders and bins and old wine glass holders. And this is just one of six versions of the Sultan that you can get. You can have six, seven, eight, nine, or ten player stations built into the Sultan. <laughs>